Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and I'm in the kitchen baking it up. And this is what we're cooking today. As you guys see here, I have the Betty Crocker Supreme Triple Chunk Brownie Mix. Ooh, that sounds good. And chocolatey. Y'all know I love chocolate? Yes. So, we've got some brownie mix today, but we ain't fixing brownies. Oh no, boo-boo. We're not fixing brownies. Today, I will be attempting to make brownie cookies. Y'all heard that? Let me say it louder. Brownie cookies. That's what I said, you heard right. Yep, brownie cookies. So I'm gonna attempt to make, notice I said attempt to make, because I'm gonna be recording this. So y'all gonna see how this gonna turn out. Hey, it is what it is. I'm just, you know, trying to change things up, do things different. So I thought about it. I said, well, brownie mix, you know. Y'all will see how I do it, so. Let's get into this because I don't want to make it a long video. Let's go. All right, so y'all see I already got everything laid out. Let me get my brownie mix opened up. Supreme Triple Chunk. Oh, that sounds good. It's got chocolate chips. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. And the only thing that's in this box is just our brownie mix. That's all it is. A, brown, a bag of brownie mix. And look, the brownie mix has chocolate chips in it. Let me see if y'all can see that. Oh, yeah. It's got nice chocolate chips in there. Mmm. I can't wait. All right, so let's get this dumped into the bowl. Well, let's read the directions first. How about that? How about that? So, all right. Heat oven to 350. I already did that. All right, so brownie mix, water, oil, and egg in medium bowl. Mix it, okay, until well. Blend, okay, all right. Now, this is, you know, direction for the brownie. But we ain't fixing brownies. But anyway, you know, we just kind of, we just kind of ad living here, you know, just going along. All right, so I'm dumping all my brownie mix in here. Okay, that's a lot of mix. And y'all know I got this brownie mix from Publix. Buy one, get one. If y'all saw my Publix grocery haul, y'all didn't make sure y'all go and watch that haul. Oh goodness. Oh, this brownie mix smells so good. All right, what are we putting in here? One fourth cup of water, one third cup of vegetable oil, and one egg. Okay. Okay, one fourth cup of water. All right, let me go get my one fourth cup. Y'all see, that's my measuring thing. All right. One fourth cup of water. There you go. Uh, one third cup of vegetable oil. Got my Bertoli vegetable oil here. All right, and I got my one third cup. Okay, one third cup of oil. So, all right, one third cup of oil. Putting that in there. Easy, easy, easy. So easy, y'all. It's so easy. All right, let me put this in the sink. All right, we just mixing this up. Nothing fancy. We just mixing this up. Well, what my what my fork at, Lord? All right, I thought I had everything myself together. That's how it be sometimes. You think you got yourself together, but you don't. That's it. All right, so we just mixing this up. Wait a minute, girl, you forgot your egg. Telling y'all, hot mess. Be hot mess. I was wondering why I was looking like that. I'm like, it's looking a little funny. <laughs> you forgot your egg, girl. Where is the egg? All right, y'all. We we got it now. Gonna go on to mix this on up. <laughs> hot mess. Forgetting my egg, child. All right. Well, I'm getting it mixed up. I am excited. Brownie cookies. Yeah, nah. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Just something that I thought of. And I was like, okay, if you can make the brownies, you should be able to make cookies out of it. You know what I'm saying? So, but y'all will see how I do it. But y'all know how brownie mix can be. Brownie mix can be a little wet. See what I'm saying? How it looks? 
I cook, y'all know I cook brownies a million times. And that's one thing about brownie mix. It can be real wet, like real loose. I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to do it. Now. I'm going to show y'all the brownie cookies. Now, this just me making it all up. Me thinking, okay, if I do this, if I do that, I can make some cookies. They got a lot of chocolate chips in here. Oh, that's good. That is really good. Because y'all know, I love me some chocolate. You get it mixed up. Get that oil and water mixed up real good. Get my egg all mixed up. Yeah, because I'm going to need all that to come together and do what I needed to do. All that. Get it mixed up real good. Y'all know brownie mix can be all thick and hard to mix. Alright, I got it all whipped up. Okay. Alright, let me show y'all that brownie mix. See how the brownie mix? Brownie mix has always been like extra wet. Unlike, you know, cookie, cookie dough. Cookie dough is a lot stiffer than the brownie mix. But I'm going to show y'all. Okay, enough of all that. So I got it mixed up. I'm going to go get my other little handy dandy stirrer thing there. All right, right. So I got my brownie mix all mixed up. Now, this is the trick. So I'm going to go ahead and put this brownie mix in the refrigerator for an hour. One hour. I'm going to put it in there for an hour because I'm thinking I put it in there for an hour. That's going to help the um, brownie mix, you know, stiffen itself up. So it becomes more like a, a cookie dough, you know, more stiff. Because y'all know brownie mix is, brownie mix is a little wet. So I'm going to put it in the refrigerator because I do that with my cookie dough. And that helps my cookies come out real good. It helps my cookies bake real good too. So, all right, y'all. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for an hour. And then I'm going to come back, scoop it up on my um, cookie pans over here. I got over here, y'all. Y'all know I'm already ready. I'm going to use my parchment paper today. Because I, I got all kinds of stuff, y'all. So, I'm going to use my parchment paper today. I'm going to use that. You know, because this is my first time trying it. So, I'm going to play it safe and use that parchment paper on my pans. So, let me go ahead, put this in the refrigerator for an hour. When I come back, y'all, we'll be training it up. I sure hope and pray this turn out right. If it don't, hey, it is what it is. That, you know what? That's the word of the day. The word of the day. Try something, and if it don't turn out right, hey, you know what? It is what it is. At least you tried. At least you tried. I'd rather try, and it don't work out. They don't try at all. I'm just saying, that's just me. I'm just, that, that's just me. Word of the day. Can you at least try? Just try. All right. I'm going to go ahead, y'all, put it in the refrigerator, and I'll be back, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm back. It's been about an hour and a half. I know I said for an hour, but I got busy doing other stuff, so. Y'all know how it is. So, I got my um, brownie mix. Um, it's been in the refrigerator for an hour and a half. I covered it with aluminum foil. Cover it, whatever you want to cover it with. Let me show y'all. Been in the refrigerator for an hour and a half. Let me show y'all when I... I got my little ice cream scooper, just a little small one. I don't know what the size of this is. It's a little small one. Anyway, one inch. I don't know, y'all. And I'm just going to take it and see how the brownie mix, see how thick it is? It's thick and chunky, like more like a cookie mix. So, I got my parchment paper. Because like I said, it's my first time doing this. So I don't really know how these going to turn out. So, I want to be careful. So, I got my parchment paper out for this. So, and of course, y'all know I can bake. The parchment paper can go in the oven and all that. Okay. It's non-stick. So I'm going to go ahead and plop down the scoop. Plop it down on my par parchment paper. Looking good. Looking good. I can make a lot out of this mix. Looks like I can make a lot of cookies. Brownie cookies. I don't know y'all. Like I said, this is just something I just thought about. And hopefully it turns out good. I mean, it ain't nothing but like cookie dough, really. If you think about it, it's just cookie dough mix. I think it's going to be alright. Come on now, drop on out. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. Uh, I think I'm going to try to squeeze one right in the middle there. Let me see. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Squeeze one right in there. That's how I usually do it with my cookie sheet when I do my regular cookies. So, 
All right, y'all, this how it's looking. Got my oven preheated over there. I'm gonna do this pan. Well, I already did this pan. I'm gonna go ahead and do that second pan, get them both in the oven. I'm gonna put them in the oven. You gotta remember now, this is brownie mix. And y'all know, brownie mix takes a, takes a little longer. Um, let me see. So brownies usually take like 20, 25 minutes. So I'll just see, I'm just gonna have to see with this since this is my first time doing it. You know, it's brownie mix cookies. It's called uh, cookie brownies. So we'll see. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna get this in the, um, get this other tray up. And then I'll be back to show y'all. Next thing I'm gonna be showing y'all, I'm be pulling them out now. So, y'all pray for me. Okay y'all, I just took the brownies out of the oven, did fresh out the oven. So we are gonna let them cool off. But they look pretty good. Look like this whole tray was trying to cook together. I don't know what they was trying to do, y'all. But they look good. They look just like brownies, but you know, just cookie shape. That's what they look like. Ooh, they look good. I'm telling y'all, as soon as they cool off, one gonna be missing. Or maybe two. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I'm just letting y'all know. Maybe them two right there. Them, these two right here. Yeah, these two. I'm telling y'all they gonna come up missing. Cause they all out of shape and looking crazy. So, yeah, I'ma eat those. As soon as they cool off, take y'all over here to this other pan. Ooh, that one look like a real brownie right there. That look like a real brownie right there, y'all. But yeah, this how they looking. I got more mix to tray up and cook, so I'ma move these out the way. And then I got like two more trays I can do. I'ma try to see if I can make them look cuter, y'all. But my cookies still look good. Don't do that, y'all. Don't do that. They still look, they still look good, y'all. It's brownie mix, so. Alright. Let me go tray up the other ones. I'm gonna let these cool off, y'all. I'll be back. I just wanted to let y'all see how they look. Fresh out the oven. Alright, y'all. This is the second batch. And as you can see, it came out a lot better. I did not use the parchment paper because I just felt like the parchment paper wasn't letting the heat get to the uh the brownie mix good enough, you know, to cook it like it needed to be cooked it and cooked it and uh, to cook it like it need to be cooked, you know. So um, I went ahead. I didn't do the parchment paper on the second batch. Well, this is the last batch because I used all of the mix. And actually, one box made quite a few cookies. I've tasted them. Yes, I have. I've had about three of these cookies. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about how many I had. They're it's my stuff. So. Yeah, I had three and they taste so good. And those chocolate chips in there, like the chocolate chips, like they don't melt. Like they sit there and they wait for you to like bite them and open them. And then they like, they just do a lot. Like these really good. I'm glad I came up with this idea, the whole brownie cookies. Oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all know I gotta take y'all in. And of course it's brownie mix, so they, they're brown. They not burnt, y'all. Don't do that. Let me take y'all in real good so y'all can see. Oh, they look so good. And these, this batch cooked much better than the second batch. They cook nice and evenly. As you guys can see, they cook all nice and even. I don't know what that one doing in the corner over there. Please ignore that cookie. I don't know what it was doing, try. But yeah. All right, y'all. I mean, they turned out great. They taste good. I'm happy it turned out the way I wanted it to. I really am, y'all, because I was a little nervous. I said, they might be laughing at me on this one, but oh well. Oh well. So, word of the day. Don't worry about what people say. Don't worry about what people think. Because, honey, at the end of the day, them same people that you worry about what they think, what they say, they, is they going to come pay your bills? No. All in your business got so much to say, but they ain't going to come and pay no bill. Since you got so much to say, please come pay some of these bills. How about that? Yeah. That's what I thought. So, honey, it don't matter. Word of the day. What people think or say, don't matter, honey. It don't matter. As long as God is pleased with you, that's all you need to be worried about. That's what you need to be worried about. Is God pleased? Get me the preacher. Let's, let's get back to these brownie cookies that I cooked, y'all. So, anyway, yep, they taste good. They are delicious. They are delicious, y'all. I tore them up. I had three. Sure did and some juice. Sure did. Yes. Should have had some milk, but that's all right. My juice was already in my cup, so. All right, y'all seen me do it. Y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power.
And I'm glad these cookies turned out all right. Whew. All right, y'all. Bye.